Hello friends, today we're going to meet Raymond. Well, maybe meet Raymond. If you've been around for a while, you know who Raymond is. He has been working behind the scenes on Snapchick pretty much since the beginning. But one of the things that I mentioned a week ago when I said that I'm going to change things a little bit around was that Raymond was going to be taking a little bit more of an active role in front of the camera. Very exciting for me and hopefully exciting for you all. Um, but I know a lot of you are new here, so I thought, let's get to know Raymond a little bit. So I asked you all for questions for him, and I have them right here. You have questions? I have questions. Oh, no. This is a Q&A for Raymond. Nuts. We used to call him Intern Raymond because it was funny. <laughs> I was promoted from intern. Promoted from intern. To full Snapchick employee. Yeah, so you may have seen him in kind of behind the scenes type of stuff. Definitely members have, have seen him in behind the scenes. This morning there was, you all p saw that I shared an entire behind the scenes video and pre-release of the review of my Mavic 2 Pro drone. He was all over the place because a lot of times he comes out with me when I'm testing things. There's a memorable Raymond clip in the D500 soap opera. Yeah, there is. We don't want to recreate it here because I don't want to get hit in the face, but you can show it. Okay. I give you permission <laughs> to show it. Anyway, there's a behind the scenes for members for that too. So anyway, if you are interested in seeing the drone review early, if you're interested in seeing all that behind the scenes stuff, make sure that you check out my channel membership. Just click the join button down below, or if you don't see that, there is a link in the description down below. And that's available right now. Yes, right now. Like people can get right, right now. now. It's the review, mm -hmm. and then it's member-exclusive mm -hmm. behind-the-scenes yeah, coverage. The whole, the whole shebang. Brilliant. I will be sharing the full review of the Mavic 2 Pro drone for everyone later, but I'm giving it to my members early this time around. Early access. Early access. We so, worked hard for that. Members do deserve early access. Yeah. You fell off your bike. That was in the adventure. That was you in the adventure. You may have seen that. That was posted yesterday. You would have seen that I fell off my bike in a mountain biking droning adventure. Yeah, I'm still all bruised up. My shoulder's messed up, but But like I'll be fine. any good intern. He ran over with I the camera. I ran over with the camera. <laughs> well, it's lucky because you were actually going to be filming something, so you had the gimbal camera yeah. in your hand. Anyway, guys, let's get to the Q&A. Q&A. So, so I'm trying to stall. Yeah, you're trying to stall. Okay, ready? I am ready. Robert asked, where is your happy place? Home, studio, trails, other? Uh, well, we're on trails right now. We're actually very near a trail. Um, right back there. In the wind. And... Oh! What? I'm so sorry to interrupt. I was Everybody, just about to answer. I'm filming this on the Z7 with, with the 24-70 to f4 lens it's using face detect it's working i feel like the footage on the back of the camera looks great we'll see how it goes just in case anything weird happens it's Cut all blurry and we're indistinguishable from each, <laughs> from each other okay, anyway, what's the, i I'm forgot sorry. the question your happy place trails studio home other i like I'm, I'm a runner and a mountain biker um more of a runner i like being leaving home for trails before the sun is up so that when the sun comes up i'm warmed up and a few miles in and it's a trail and you could worry about stuff later because you're on a trail and the sun's coming up and the animals are waking up and sometimes out here in the in northern arizona you see all kinds of cool animals um, that's my happy place is not just on trails but early in the morning when the day is being unwrapped. Like a precious gift. Word. Love it. Gerard asks, do you use Nikon too? Yes. Now where's, where's my little guy mm. though? Hold on. I can get it. Where's my special Pause. guy? Pause. I've used a lot, used more Nikon than anything else. But this is, I have not let you spend much time with the yeah. Fuji X100F. So we went to the Grand Canyon yesterday to in indoctrinate the Z7, Z7 
and I knew you'd be using that and that's the appropriate thing for you to be doing. And I had everything in the arsenal at my disposal and I chose the fixed lens APS-C sensor X100F and I had a blast with it. You were doing your technical things, you were checking video and I was running around the rim of the canyon and running around the woods like a child, like a happy child. <laughs> Funny story, Raymond did grab the Z7 from me when I had the 200 to 500 on it for a little bit. And he was like, here, hold this. So I, I grabbed the X100F and I held it up to my face and I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I still love There's that. There's just not camera. a whole lot to think about. It's fun to it hold seriously... and it gives great results. Yeah. So even when you're at a place like the Grand Canyon, which is so vast, it's still fun to use. I don't know. Yeah. Then let's be straight. If I'm shooting wildlife from a distance, I'm not picking this up. I'm picking no, up the D500 with your 200 to 500, and I'm having a blast. Another funny story. Elk, male elk, giant antlers, completely covered in wet, dark brown mud, ran across the road in front of the car. Covered from head to toe. like he... From tip of antler to toe. Not, not a dry speck on no, this dude. Something... It's like they're like mating season. It's Something <laughs> kinky was going on. <laughs> but he's like, where's it my was, pants? It was really unfortunate. I did grab the Z7 and, and take a photo, but it had the 24 to 70 on it. The elk was a little bit far away and like he stopped in a really bright patch. It, just, it didn't really work Poor out for elk. photos, but like something, hilarious. Something weird was going like, on in elk land. <laughs> Everywhere. How did it get on his antlers? They were in like the mud jacuzzi. <laughs> Okay. That was funny. So anyway. Okay, what's next? Now, that kind of leads into Frank's question, which was, uh, what is your favorite camera lens combo? It really depends on uh, the certain... We ask each other that question all the time, so I'm actually ready to answer that one. I really, right now, at this moment, as I said, if I have to run out the door with a camera, I grab the X100F. Now, if I need telephoto, I'm bringing the D500 and like the 70 to 200 or the 200 500 if I can wrestle it away from you. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all circumstances. I love that little SL2. I haven't spent any time with the Z7 yet. I've only taken a couple pictures with it, so I can't I can't speak to that. But um, you know, <laughs> he was like, "How do I change it to continuous?" I know. I was <laughs> like, I "Couldn't do any." There was birds flying overhead <laughs> when I happened to have it, and I was like, "Ah, you don't know how to use it." Um, the but we both have tried and true history with the Nikon mm -hmm. F-mount system. So out of habit, if I had to go to a job, if I had to do something, you know, that where I didn't know what I was expecting, I would grab a backpack like that one you have mm -hmm. here with a couple Nikon DSLR bodies and a whole bunch of lenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, commonly heard out of Raymond's mouth. This is all I use now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anything that comes in, I'm like, this is all I use now. This is all I use now. Or like, <laughs> yeah, the, the last one before that was like, before the SL2. This, was the SL2. And I think the ultra wide. Yeah, this the is all SL2 I and use the now. ultra wide. Before that, it was like the V1. Like, <laughs> this is all I use now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next question. Oh, wind is from Juan. He says, what type of photography do you do? Oh, I do. Um. Now I do everything. Um, I started out much like you. That's kind of how we uh, sort of met. That's how we bonded. And how we bonded. Um, that and running. <laughs> the, I did events and I did the worst kind of event photography where I made good contacts um, both with current photographers and actually with a, um, a pretty prolific videographer as well. And that got me, he was kind of in a higher society than I am. So that kind of got me into um, uh, the go-to photographer for a couple venues that corporations would use for events and stuff. And since the corporations were using the Arizona location as a destination, they didn't know any, you know local photographer and stuff. So the venue would su suggest me and then I'd be running around uh, taking pictures. But I was booking, like you early on, I was booking too much work and it became a lot less fun. And when we started your your channel, it's like, oh, we can mm -hmm. we can create in ways that we want, not 
who's going to pay me more on Saturday or can I do a Saturday morning, a Saturday afternoon and a Sunday morning or something like that. Yeah, I think we were so, both a little burnt out at that point. Yes, yes. And that, that it was actually that kind of discussion about yeah. being burnt out that got us into um, your, your channel and, and starting that. So the kind of photography I do now is if you see Lee doing a video where she's taking a certain kind of picture, I'm there with another camera doing the same thing. You're most often seeing her picture. Sometimes you'll put, you know, my different angles or, you know, perspective in, but the photography I do now is the same photography that they're seeing, seeing from you. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Where's my next question? Oh, Janet says, do you have any funny stories about working with Snapchick? Be nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we were talking about one just the other day, actually, because we talk about this stuff like, oh, yeah, when, when, when was it crazy? Um, and you put up some pictures oh. from this oh, one. Oh, no. It's the, uh, you know, because we were talking about it the other day. Yeah. It was swimming pool <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> at night. Oh. With speed lights that were floating on the water. Now, speed lights don't float on their own. Um, we got the brilliant idea. You had a particular look in mind. I had which a was, vision. Yeah, yeah. Which you, you had I a vision. Had many times since and, then. I, and, and what we did, what we always do, we say, okay, with the things that we have right now, how do we make this vision mm -hmm. happen? So mm -hmm. it wasn't like get underwater lighting. It was like, okay, we take these speed lights and we put them in two Ziploc bags in two, case one Ziploc bag yeah, fails. Two gallon sized freezer Ziploc bags. Yes. Brand name, I think. And so it, the, the water's freezing. We're both in the pool. I've got the um, whatever camera, probably D300S think, yeah. in that underwater bag, which is nice. I'm not gonna rip on the underwater bag too much, but if you're experimenting with settings, on the camera, it's the wrong thing to do because it's really hard to change settings on your camera in that bag. You pretty much set it up and then you put it in the in the bag and you're done with it. Well, I started out trying to use uh, the uh, TTL infrared to camera talks to the mm -hmm. um, uh, camera talks to the speed lights, and because of the water in the bags, that just wasn't working. Yeah. So then I'm in the situation where I'm freezing in the pool changing the speed lights over to SU4 mode. So everything starts flashing when I got that hooked up. So then neighbors, they see a barely dressed woman and they see flashes going off. So these, these neighbors are all looking over and then the hoots and hollers come out, but it was all about your vision which was good. So we, we actually focus and, and it, it was by no means a wonderful um, no. wonderful results. I, I would say they were very good results um, as a combination of me trying to get the technical set up and you being the you know model and, and get your stuff uh, get your stuff <laughs> get, get your part uh, going. Yeah. We, we pulled it off nicely but it was like once you start shivering and you're standing in water mm -hmm. changing settings on things that are in bags like yeah what a mess. And that was early on like I didn't really know about modeling mess. at all anyway yeah what a mess. i remember mess. afterwards inside like wrapped in like in a robe like also wrapped in a towel just like never doing that again but, <laughs> but i had a vision and raymond was a sport about it well and that's the thing is like you know we spent a lot of time uh bantering like this when you know what's the next video what, what's the next concept what's the next artistic uh concept mm -hmm. so it's it's you know things overheard at your headquarters like Oh yeah, let's let's get in the pool and put some speed lights in there, and we gelled them uh, red and blue, and let's just see what happens. So that, that yeah. that's the fun side, and that goes back to what kind of photography do you do? Anything that we kind of think up. Yeah, exactly. So okay, so I have three questions now that this is getting long. I wanted to ask you. We'll try to keep them. I, I we'll try to keep these ones a little bit shorter because this is going to run out at some point. Um, Z7, how's your battery? Time. Hey, Z7. No. Alexa, no. Mm -mm. Okay, it doesn't do that. Siri? Oh, don't. Anyway. Uh, so, my first question is what do you do little, at little whim. Snapchick? And we've kind of talked a little bit about it. He comes out with me on my a lot of my adventures, and you'll see him in those. Um, field trips, usually and behind the scenes stuff helps me take pictures what else 
What else do you do? Um, yeah, all the, yeah. I mean, it's it's rare that you're going on a field trip, you know, by yourself and I'm not there, like, one. you know, moving backpacks around yeah. and, you know, making sure that, yeah. like, that you're safe. Um, <laughs> you know, woman in the woods with a bunch of camera gear. I mean, what could go wrong? Sometimes it happens. Um, Usually when I do go out by myself, it's like sunrise or something and there's nobody around. Yeah. I mean, there's bears. Like, we're easy, we're within, it's fair to say we're within a mile of a bear right now. Bears. Just based on the number of bears and the, bears? you know. Um, bears? But the uh, um, the other thing that um, you probably don't see at all, so sometimes you'll see me in those videos or, you know, you'll see that maybe it took more than one person to get it together, but I handle a lot of the communications uh, behind the scenes. If you, um, you know, we've been talking a lot about the Energy Kodiak um, mm -hmm. because based on the strength of their product, you've got a re business relationship with them. Uh, I handle a lot of that communications on explaining to people what what we do. Um, sometimes a vendor will write and say, uh, I I want to you to you know I want to send you this product, but I want you to do this this and this. And I'm the one who says, No, we we actually don't do it that way. Here's what we would do with your your product if it's good. Send us one. We'll try it out. And we'll send it back if it's garbage. So I do a lot of that so that you can focus on the content side. And then very typical on a Monday morning for me to say, okay, this week we have X, Y, and Z products arriving. Yeah. And we didn't- What do you wanna do? <laughs> what do you wanna do? We committed to a review and this and that for the other mm -hmm. one. So a lot of that behind the scenes communication on showing you things that would legitimately ben be beneficial for people who are interested in this channel. If mm -hmm. it's a piece of garbage or it doesn't fit in with the photography, video, adventure type world, we're not even gonna have it sent. Yeah. So I, I deal with a lot of that. So I'm going to roll the last two into one to, in the interest of time. Perfect. Um, I want to know a little bit more about the Raymond show. It's something that should start happening on Thursdays, right? Yes. And will we be able to see some of your work in the Raymond show? Yes. This week, oh, I'm getting nervous just saying that. This week, I'm going to talk about um, my perspectives on the first outing with the Z7, what I saw you doing, what I saw you struggling with. Um, I might be more candid <laughs> than you would be um, about what uh, what you were relaying your experience at the time. Like, damn it, why won't it? We had trouble with the face detection. Oh, we yeah, got that, we got that figured, figured out. out, we think. How's it working? Um, so I'll give perspectives on that. I'll share some yeah. of my... I know a lot of you are interested in the X100F, especially because of your awesome uh, review of it. So I'll talk about that. Um, I do want to talk about the things that I always want to talk about are, um, I want to be objective. I want to do more day-to-day -day videos about what's going on in the industry so that you're freed up for what your new or your evolved mission, which is the artistic side. So I can, you know, hey, if Pentax introduces something, I can be, you know, talking about what you and I think the pros and cons are mm -hmm. while you're off with a backpack and, a, you know, in a drone somewhere. Yeah, um, yeah. We don't, by myself in the woods. Yeah, by yourself. <laughs> what could go wrong? Um, bear? Bears? Mm -hmm. um, but what I want to try to do, and I know there's a lot of people out there doing that, and you do that to an extent, but one thing that I've noticed, especially recently, and maybe it's just because I paid more attention with the Z7 release, is a good story can bring in a lot of views or a little bit of drama can bring in a lot of views even if you've got to go looking for it and I'm not interested in that if there's a new product let's just say a Pentax camera so I don't know why I'm picking on Pentax today um, why not just talk about the strengths and weaknesses and who it might be for then be offended that it only has one memory card slot or something like that. Sorry to sorry to, to scratch that. Yeah, please <laughs> don't like so scrape the scab the off that one. Something. But uh, like it's I see a lot of I, you know, I'm on YouTube every day. I'm checking out your stuff. I'm checking out what other people are doing. And it's kind of gotten like there's two things that I see. I see a lot of like scandal, scandal that <laughs> Nikon did this. And I see a lot of people maybe not even hitting the issues, but trying to be a comedian about it too. And hey, I like humor. I like being funny. And, and, we, and we try to be funny sometimes. It doesn't always work. But this is a real industry with real products that there's not a lot of, you know, the DSLR and the mirrorless now are evolved. There's, there's not companies that have survived that are putting out garbage. So let's not pretend that they are. 
let's talk about what they're for and not yeah. every camera is for every person. I know I just rambled on a little bit, but I've got to say that for me because I've got to keep myself honest on that because it is fun to be a little salacious sometimes. And I, I'm not saying I won't ever do that, but you've always been very straightforward with your audience. And now that I've got some things to talk about and we'll have some airtime, I want to make sure that I respect that tradition. Good, because wow. if you don't, I'm kicking you out. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I could go rogue for six months and like get away with it. You'd be like, you know, hey, come here. Let, let's let's have a talk about that last video. No, I, and, and, and I would want you to do that if I fell yeah. into that trap of like, hey, how can I get more views yeah, on my show? I'm only a little bit of a control freak when it comes to my work. Anyway, we are definitely running out of time on the video file here. So thank you, Raymond, for coming on to this Tuesday show. And everybody, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure that you follow me on social media because I always post when I share a new video. But if you're subscribed and you hit the bell button, like YouTube is supposed to tell you. I don't know if it will. Sometimes it does. I don't know. Anyway, everybody, thanks, Raymond. Thank thanks, you. everybody. Talk to you soon.